Well, hello, friends. My name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. And today I want to talk to you about the magic of quantizers. What is a quantizer? Well, uh, let's find that out real quick, okay? This is a note. You can hear a note coming out of this channel of the 4MS Spherical Wavetable Navigator. If I send voltage to the 1 volt per octave or pitch input, you can hear I get this wonderful little friend sound. If I send an LFO into this 1 volt per octave, we get this sound. Which is very cool, but not very musical. The reason for this is because the voltage that's coming out of the tetrapad here is not 1 volt per octave quantized. It's smooth between 0 and 5 volts. So we're not going to get what we consider pitches. So how do we fix that? Well, that's where quantizers come in. Quantizer is something that takes incoming CV and adheres it to a scale. And I just recently got another ornament in crime. This is the after later version of it, of micro ornament in crime. This is like a multi-app CV processing unit. I've been using what's called hemispheres usually on it, which splits it into two different sides. And you get all these really awesome uh, apps built into it that uh, give you all kinds of CV processing tools. And if you don't have an ornament in crime in your setup, I strongly suggest you get one. It's useful in a billion different ways. So the Hemispheres app is one way to use it, but the default firmware is something that I've kind of been avoiding because uh, I thought it was too complicated, but I've heard a lot of really good things about Quartermain, which is a quad quantizer. After I've selected Quartermain on Ornament and Crime, I'm faced with four different channels, A, B, C, and D, the four inputs and outputs that we have here. It accepts CV input, which we're going to use our Tetrapad for, like I've already demonstrated. And it takes a trigger input to sample the input from the tetrapad, and then it spits out a quantized CV value in pitch based on a scale to your module. We'll be using the spherical wavetable navigator because this thing uh, is self-contained and makes this really, really easy. You can see it just switched over here to our screensaver mode, which actually shows you what's going on. And if I was to uh, turn, well, I can do this. You can see now that we have little display readouts up there. That's going to get even more interesting once we actually program this. So I've been enjoying using Mixolydian scale on this. Uh, we're going to click this encoder and switch this here to Mixolydian. And we're going to do the same thing for each one. We may adjust some of the other ones later, but for right now, we'll just do Mixolydian in C. So let's turn this up. I'm actually going to pan this here to the middle because we can do that now per channel on the 4MS Spherical Wavetable Navigator, which is a very welcome addition. Right now, we're not getting anything because this still needs triggers to understand uh, when it should sample the note, which will then create our note over here for us. So let's use the Tubutech sec sec sequencer, sec sequencer uh, which is a really compact multi-channel uh, trigger and gate output creator. If you're looking for a lot of gates and or triggers in your setup, uh, this is going to be your best friend. So I have the clock for the 4MS Spherical Navigator set to, it looks like, snare drum. So let's go to snare drum and give us some clock for our 4MS Spherical Wavetable Navigator. And we'll immediately see a result there. I'm going to set an eighth note clocks. There we go. We're just going to be dealing with note one right here for now. All right, we need to send some gates and triggers to ornament and crime. So I have the next four channels after snare drum set there. So we can make our own rhythm here. So let's do that. You can see we have this little friend right here. This is the next part of what we need to do. So listen to what happens when I switch this to a different voltage. And this will be really obvious if I give this all of its, all of its triggers, all 16th notes, all the time. Pretty cool, right? Let's bring in some of this. So do you understand what's happening? It's sampling this continuous voltage that I'm sending out via the tetrapad. 
So zero to five volts. Sampling it every single time as a trigger. And it's picking a note from the C Mixolydian scale and feeding it to our 4 ms spherical wavetable navigator. We have four individual channels of this, which I think is great. So what we're going to do is on this channel, I'm going to record a pattern on this. Because this is just a voltage control and because this will turn it into music for us, we can make our own little melody over time. I'm actually going to change the octave of this. Just this channel. It's going to be our bass, okay? All right, let's bring in our next one. Let's go ahead and thin out this one in terms of when we'll hear it. There's a lot of things at play here. Um, there's the triggers for when we sample uh, the voltage coming in, which create our melody events. You can see that's actually reflected here, right? But there's also the LFO speed and stuff that we have over on the 4MS Spherical Navigator, which we will play with in a little bit. But right now, I just kind of want to create some more melodies. So let's go to our next channel. Program in some of our things here to create samples. Let's go ahead and put this in the middle. Switch the mode of this. Because this is continuous and this is quantized from a time perspective, we may get some interesting sort of like little glitchy things here and there. Three, I'm going to make into an LFO, because we can do that. There's an LFO. All right, let's see the LFO on Ornament Crime here. We can choose to speed that up and slow it down. Let's go ahead and give it some triggers. And finally, this channel. And that's the basics of why quantizers are cool. We can use things like LFOs and continuous voltage to play melodies unconventional ways of creating input and melodies. Plus, it looks really cool, doesn't it? So, we can make this even cooler. And that is by using the features built into the Spherical Wavetable Navigator meaning the LFO speeds and types. So right now you can see that each one of these is kind of just going, right? Well, if I take this, I'm gonna slow it way down. Change its shape to something like this. Now each one of our voices has its own LFO speed and shape. These notes over here are still changing at the same rate. And we can, you know, change that by slowing this down, or we could change it by changing what sample rate here. Let's go ahead and switch these two to LFOs. Which I think gives us some of the most interesting control.
In case you haven't figured it out, this is an ambient video. All right. Now, I can do some interesting things here. I can speed up the entire LFO speed here, or slow it down. Which adds another layer of rhythm. And also, start changing the wavetables. So, for our quote-unquote bass note here, I'm going to give us a sample every beginning of the bar. Which slows down our impression of how it's going to be sampling pitch. We're actually going to go back and switch this one to a value as opposed to an LFO. Let's go ahead and drop it down an octave. Let's go ahead and change its speed and shape. One of the things that I really love about Monitor is just the really interesting ways that we can put things together and get new ways to experience music. This is going into my closed hi-hat here. What this will do is change the mute taps for our Rainmaker. get a little click but it's kind of cool
Well, that's been fun. So let's just do a quick recap. Continuous voltage can be sent into something that expects pitch, and it will sound like a fun roller coaster. But maybe that's not what you want. So, what you can do is take that and put it through a quantizer, something like ornament and crime, which actually has a couple different ways to do it. Quarter main in the main firmware for this is probably the most robust one. And once you've set up quarter main to have your scales, you want to send it triggers to sample the incoming continuous voltage so that it knows when to make a change to the note that's going to your oscillator. In this case, we're using the highly capable Sequencer, Sequencer from Tubitech to uh, send out gates. This would normally be used for sequencing drums, but guess what, Mrs. Modular Baby? You don't gotta follow the rules. So this is sending out all kinds of signals to Ornament and Prime, for MS Spherical Wavetable Navigator, and it's even playing with our mute groups over here, our mutes, which is giving us a little rhythm. So with a little bit of work, a little bit of sweat, a little bit of tears. We have turns LFOs into sort of generative melody that we can play. I hope this was fun for you. Just a little fun video I wanted to show off because I love the graphics of Ornament and Crime and uh, I really think the Sex Monster is uh, pretty dope. And also I wanted to show off Rainmaker again. <laughs> Uh, I have videos on almost everything in this rack, so uh, check the video description if you want to learn more about any of this stuff in here. Thanks for watching. My name is Jeremy, and I hope you have just really excellent day.